Hi, my name is Carl Malamud, and I'm applying for a 2017 Shuttleworth Fellowship. I'm proud to say that I join with the Shuttleworth Foundation in having open be at the core of my being. For the last 10 years, I've run Public Resource, a small nonprofit that fights to make public data even more public. For example, I've posted 9 million U.S. nonprofit scans of tax returns and convinced the Internal Revenue Service to release 1.4 million XML e-filed returns. For example, the U.S. House of Representatives asked us to help put 14,000 hours of hearing video online and teach them how to do closed captioning. For example, we sent volunteers into the U.S. National Archives to copy 6,000 videos, which are all up on YouTube in the Internet Archive, and fought off a few hundred false content ID claims. My real passion, though, is the rule of law. And that rule says that if a law isn't public, it isn't a law. Oddly enough, even though ignorance of the law is no excuse, a large part of the law is underwater. You have to pay money to read it. It's under DRM. You need a license to speak it. I feel deeply that if our society is to function as a democracy, we must be a part of it. We own our governments, and we can't make our governments work better if we can't read the manual. In 2008, you couldn't see any of the historical opinions of the U.S. Court of Appeals on the Internet. I worked with Larry Lessig and many others. We raised $600,000, and we put that data online. This was the very first time the CC0 license was used on the Internet. I worked with Aaron Schwartz and many others to pull 20 million pages of U.S. District Court dockets from behind their paywall and subjected them to a serious privacy audit. In 2014, I got sued for putting the official law of Georgia online, and we're defending that action now. The big fight, though, is public safety codes that are the law. Building codes, toy safety, infant car seat and stroller safety, hazmat transport, oil drilling in the ocean, airbags in cars, testing for lead in water. We've posted over 25,000 of those codes, and are pressing our point in four district court actions on three continents. In the U.S., six plaintiffs are suing us for posting laws like the National Electrical Code. In Europe, the German code people are coming after us for posting the EU-mandated safety standard for baby pacifiers. Nine major law firms have stood up with public resource, every one of them working for free. They're doing it because they believe in the rule of law. My pro bono legal bill last year was $3.8 million. In India, we posted 19,000 standards from the Bureau of Indian Standards, a governmental body. After a series of administrative appeals, we sued in the High Court of Delhi as a public interest litigation with two Indian co-petitioners. We're represented by a top Mumbai law firm, and the former Minister of Law is our senior counselor. I want to be clear that the work I do is technical. I work with code. The Indian National Building Code, for example, went from a $200 book to a scan, and then the whole thing was retyped into HTML with SVG graphics and MathML, and it's available for free. I just got back from India where I worked closely with Sam Petroda, who was CTO and a cabinet minister under three prime ministers. We made 10 disk drives with Gandhi labels, put all 19,000 standards and a bunch of other cool stuff on them, wrapped them up with red tape, and went barnstorming the country, giving out copies of the standards to places like the Central University of Rajasthan, Gandhi's Ashram, Barefoot College, the Honey Bee Network, and the Indian Institution of Engineers. We're doing more than just sitting around waiting for the wheels of justice to turn. These campaigns use the techniques of satyagraha and civil resistance. We all learn from Gandhi, King, Mandela, and so many others. When I look at the internet, I see an open world, a world of open source and open protocols. But I also see a community of people people that built that world, a community that shares common values, technical skills, skills that require great discipline and training. As a Shuttleworth Fellow, one of the questions I would like to explore is how can we harness that great power we use to build an open net and use it to build a more open world, a society 
based on access to justice, access to political opportunity, access to economic opportunity, and what I believe is the great challenge and promise of our times, access to knowledge. Thank you.